dealing with a family crisis back home. Um, this is something that's actually come up in the last few days, not for myself, but a friend of mine. Um, but I've seen it over the years where things have happened. Uh, people have got sick, people have died, um, houses people have rented out have been trashed. Uh, what else has happened? Getting to funerals and things, because although they've, there's been deaths, they've also had the arrangement side as well as coming to terms with the loss, but also budget wise, how do they get home? Because some people don't have an emergency fund, and it's why it's important to have one. Because as you see, I, I use mine quite broadly because it's for um, health, it's for family emergencies. It's for a crisis, it's as simple as that. The, the, I keep a budget for it and it continuously grows because I add money to it every month. So if we don't have anything happen for a year. By the following year, it's doubled. It's as simple as that. So it's important that you prepare yourself that things will go wrong because I know some people go, well, I've rent my house out, I'm going to live on this and everything's going to be fantastic. That's okay until something does go wrong. What it should have done is even if you're, say, you're working in the UK, you think, you know what, I'll work another month and I'll put that month's money in the bank and just leave it. I won't touch it, that is an emergency fund, um, rather than go early. Much better to go later and be prepared. When I was in Oman, for example, because uh, I work project to project, I have budgets for everything. Um, so when my contract extended, for, I think it was up to a month, um, I, I had plenty of spare cash, so I bought a motorbike, I bought, I think I bought 4x4, four four. I bought my, bought my Canon camera and stuff, all out of money that was excess to the project. At the same time, I still banked even more money, um, because that, that money was only a part of, that was only one week's money, the other, the other three weeks was banked. So the point is, even with that, I could splurge, but the whole point is I didn't splurge on the contract money, it was the excess. Because I'd agreed a three month contract and it ran in, I think eventually it was four and a half months. Um, but I hit my target here and then I had extra cash. So you just say, you know what, I've worked hard enough, treat yourself. And that's what you need to do sometimes. You just need to prepare for the, the problems that come that happen in life and then you can enjoy it because they create less stress because if you're prepared for things going wrong then it's less of a crisis if you've actually got budget there to deal with it because um, I know in the Philippines I've seen people go and get loans or pawn things for an emergency and I'm like why haven't you got any money for this and you, you, you may be going yeah but what, what right have you got to say about that I says, well, when they come knocking my door asking me for money, I can ask them, why haven't you prepared this? Because I know you're out drinking at least three, four nights a week. So you have had the money. You know, I know it's only 100, 200 pesos a day. Even if you put 50% of your budget aside for that, you would have accumulated enough over a period of time for an emergency. It doesn't matter how you look at it. There is always a reason for it. I've dealt with somebody's finances well, on a similar scenario because she spends 500 pounds on clothes and shoes a month but she's struggling to pay a mortgage and other bits and I says you do not need clothes you've got clothes you're, buying, you're spending so much on clothes you haven't got to keep them all yeah but I like clothes it's like your mortgage is more important if you pay your mortgage off once it's gone, it's gone. You can pay it off five, ten years early if you concentrate on that instead of spending so much on clothing. But some people are just like, yeah, but I want my clothes. It's like, well, don't ask me to help you. Because I can see how you can fix your problem. You're just refusing to accept that you need to fix it. But anyway, so being prepared is an important bit. Another part of this is understanding where you sit in your family tree. Um, if you're the person everyone relies on, how are they going to cope when you're not there? Because if you've sorted problems out for everyone for the last 25 years and suddenly go, I'm retiring now, I'm off to the Philippines. The first person, the first person they're going to be looking to is you and you're not there. 
but they might still be emailing, phoning, and everything else, expecting you to jump on the next plane and sort everything out. But if you're retired, you may not have the same budget. If you're retired, you may be going, well, you need to take control of this. Um, you may not even go back for funerals, for example, because your budget may be too, too tight, or you might turn around and say, well, I'd rather remember him the way he was. Um, kind of, that's the way I am. I, I'll be honest with you, I'm not a person that goes to funerals. It's not because um, my having no belief in religion is the fact is I like to remember people as they I last seen them or before that even um, because I remember the happy side of things and I'd rather be it. You know, it's not. I don't need the. You know, some people need closure and all that. I'd rather just remember last time we sat in the pub together or um, when we used to go and fishing or something else together. Those memories are more important to me. So, you know, if somebody said to me, we're not going to the funeral or whatever, myself, I wouldn't really be that concerned, but I know some people see it from a different viewpoint. Um, it's a complicated one, but one of the key elements here is you have to be aware that these things still happen. Just because you're retired and thousands of miles away doesn't mean that they won't happen. It doesn't mean that people won't look to you to sort it out for them. Thanks for watching.